Well, I think uh, Iran then came under fairly significant international condemnation for attacking Saudi. You had Chancellor Merkel, uh, President Macron, Prime Minister Johnson put out a statement together identifying Iran as responsible for the attacks on Knob Cake, demanded they return to the negotiating table to do something about Iran's ballistic missile program. So what I've been saying for the last year and a half is that because of this Iran nuclear deal, we have been accumulating risk of a regional conflict. And what Iran did to Saudi on September 14th was an act of war. So, and many would say that no one did anything about it. Well, we have had, but Iran is more diplomatically isolated as a consequence of it. We still see a role for the UN Security Council to play. And now that Saudi, I think, has concluded its investigation, we hope that we'll be able to do something the UN Security Council. But to your specific question, whether they can do it again, sort of the modern terrorism has an asymmetric advantage over conventional deterrence. We know that because we've enhanced our force posture in the region, we've deterred and disrupted a lot of attacks. But the asymmetric advantage that any terrorist sort of regime enjoys, it's impossible to eliminate. So we hope that we put in place a sort of deterrence that will avoid another attack. We've enhanced Saudi's air defenses, and so have other countries. And we're going to continue to enhance Saudi's defenses and our defenses in the region to avoid it from happening again. There's been a lot of talk and reports in the press that both Saudi Arabia and the UAE have been seeking through back channels um, to talk to Iran and to come to the table in some way. What's your take on that? I think everybody would like to resolve uh, our differences with Iran diplomatically. And so that's been our position. But that doesn't undermine what you're trying to do. We haven't seen any, any effect on our maximum pressure campaign. Uh, President Trump and Secretary Pompeo have repeatedly said that they're ready to sit down with the regime. Uh, but I don't think the Supreme Leader has authorized any of his diplomats to talk with the United States. That's a big mistake uh, because he is managing economic collapse and not doing a very good job at it. At some point, we hope that pragmatism prevails over ideology and we can sit down and resolve our bilateral differences diplomatically. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.